everybody. Thanks for checking out today's video. This video is brought to you by www.lotsofbuttons.com. We're going to be showing you how to take a simple lampshade and turn it into a springtime lampshade. And you can buy three or four of these for each season. We're going to be using some of our special seasons of ribbon, like light colors. I like to use bright colors for spring blues. Um, I'm actually going to leave a link to Pantone.com which you can see all the spring colors and that's great to go shopping for when you're shopping for buttons that we'll be using from lots of buttons.com today. So here's what you're going to need. For this DIY project you'll need adhesive as Zots or mixed media glue, buttons from lots of buttons.com, any ribbon, a pair of scissors to cut your ribbon, and a lampshade. That's all. Let's get started. To get started, you'll want to first take your ribbon and put it around your lampshade. I like to use ribbon as a starter piece to our project just because it can go along around the bottom pretty easy and it's a really nice thing to use. So I wanted to go around the bottom and what we're going to have to do is just tape or glue around the bottom of here and it'll stick up so as this is a circle for one and it goes up at an angle so you can't glue the whole thing down and make it look right if that makes sense so we're going to glue this down and make sure that you find the um the back of this or just create your own back because this has where it like these two connect and you just want to do that because this will be in the back and this will hide all your ribbon like where you cut it so that will just where it's all on the same place. So I'm going to glue this down and come back. Okay so our ribbon is on and you can sort of see a few spots where it is like this right here but you can't really fix that. I just really love the um, ribbon feel to something like this and I just sort of aligned it right above the little curve where the um, material curves in and I just kept it above that. So here's what it looks like and I just love this color. We want to use spring colors on our lampshade. So now what we're going to use is buttons and we're going to divert them around and just lay, even them out. And you can use other embellishments um, with buttons. I like to use buttons and you can just add more embellishments. You can add a few flowers, which we might be do that as well because we have some really cool spring flowers. Okay, so we're also going to incorporate three flowers just to make it spoof a little bit more. And these are the little flowers. I actually picked these up at Big Lots, if you wondered, uh, years ago. And it was a bit in my stash and I've always wanted to use these on a project. So we've made three flowers and we're going to incorporate them. I was thinking maybe around the top here or maybe around the bottom. I don't know. We might make more than three. So what I'm going to do now is find a place for them and I'm just going to put them down and I'll come back when they're done. What I done was I decided where all three of mine wanted to go and then I just took Zots, which is um, adhesive on dots. They're really easy to use. You just peel it, stick your project, pull it out and it'll be sticky on the other side and just put it on your project and it's automatically sealed. It's really cool and they're already nice and ready to go. So as you can tell, these are really nice spring colors. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take the buttons that you saw earlier. We're going to put them on our lampshade. So I'm thinking that we can do some yellows, we're going to do some green, you know, we're just sort of going to maybe do a little chevron-y type style. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we'll find out. So I'm going to decide where I want my buttons and then I'll come back and tell you because it's really hard to show you on camera because this is a circle and it's really hard to show and keep them somewhere and then move on and show something else. Okay, so we placed our buttons on our project and I wanted to do a zigzag of buttons and I think it looks pretty good. Let's do a little spin around here for a second and spin it around. Let me you see it. And you can see here's the back. This is the back and you can see where the ribbon ends. And then here's the front. So here's what I've done. I decided what buttons I wanted to use and I put it on here and I used the Zots again and I went ahead and put all my buttons that I had out on Zots so it's already ready and I would just peel it up and go. I used a scrap sheet of paper to make sure that they all were aligned right so the top row was straight and then the bottom row was straight. And then you just level it out and just do that continuously around your whole lampshade and ta-da! 
So I hope you enjoyed today's Thursday button video. Make sure to check out www.lotsofbuttons.com for more really cool craft inspiration like this one and check out their awesome buttons. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.